Akitas, Kira and Ragnar Two biggest bodies, they're always together Playing all day long, that's what they do Adventurous and sometimes naughty too They're hiking up the mountains and surfing the waves Barking really loud yet having fun all day When you see them out and about They must be having good time no doubt, so join these Akitas What could be better than adventures with Kira and Ragnar? So it's... Nine minutes to six in the morning. It's minus one degree centigrade. And we're off for our early morning walk. Obviously, it's still very black in the sky. Ragnar has to go on a lead for the first part of this walk because he's a bit too excited. Once he calms down, he'll come off the lead. He loves his early morning walks. I'm really not sure what this camera's picking up, but it's still very dark. Very early. Hold on. Rag, stand still. Put your light on. Uh, right now you can go. Kira, stand still. Your light. There you go. There we go. So they've got these sensor lights here in this park. So the dogs go under it and light them up. And they've got the collars on so I can see where they are. It's still very dark. We're only just into March. Actually, what is it now? No, it's a week into March. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, of course it is, because it's Ragnar's birthday. see here. Nothing probably. I'm waving this camera around in the dark for nothing. Never mind. And they're off. Probably all you can see is a red light being chased by a blue light. <laughs> and they're off. So we've been out for a while. I think there's a bit of a, I don't know if you can see it, I think there's a bit of a glow in the sky. Oh yeah, you can see that, can't you? Look. I think some of that's actually town air light pollution. But there is a glow in the sky. They've calmed down a bit. A big boy. <laughs> he's two years old and he's still just a big puppy. We are so getting there now. There's definitely a glow coming up. <clears throat> Where's he off to? Excuse me, I'm going to have to whistle. I don't know if you can see his light. He is coming back slowly. Rags, come back. 
is there. <clears throat> they both come back to a whistle. She's never far away anyway, this one. The birds are waking up. Even I can see the glow in the sky on the screen now. And I'm as blind as a bat. The sun must be coming up. Still got automatic lights, which is nice. Where are they? Here they are. Play fighting as usual. Morning. No, keep going. Oh, definitely a chill in the air this morning. Right, we lose the street lights now. Automatic street light things. <clears throat> for a torch. Hello. Lots of sniffing needed here, obviously. And next to the big pond. And you can see the glow in the sky. But probably everything else is pitch black. Not a lot of good, is it? And we're walking into darkness again. <clears throat> Oh, look out, hello dogs. It might be torch time. There we go. Most of the time, Ragnar's off in the lead, searching out what's in front. See if there's anything good to chase, like a squirrel or a fox. And Kira hangs back. Let's see if we can get his attention. Oh, has he stopped? Come, come. So he's going to chase her back. Come on in. Come on, you two. Here they come. Plain on route. They know there's no urgency. Hello. Yes, thank you. Good girl, good boy. Well done. Let's keep going. Up here, oh, they're chewing a stick. Up here, 
for my eyes there's no need for a torch I can see where I'm going but the camera probably thinks it's pitch black glow in the sky here comes the sun I don't know what we've been out for about three quarters of an hour or so Sun's coming up. Somewhere up through those trees. There he is, Mr. Moon. I bet this just looks like a big black blob with a glow in the sky. some frosty. Dogs love that. Lights are still coming on. It's not actually that bad. I think the camera doesn't pick it up. I'm guessing, I don't know. They've slowed down now. Just plodding and sniffing and setting the lights off. Uh-oh, uh the screen looks totally black. I don't think you can see anything at all. <clears throat> We're on our way home and again this is some woods with some automatic light up lights in it. He's just set one off, he's over there. Plenty of light in the sky for me to see. But I don't think you can see anything at all. He's over there somewhere, sniffing around. Keep going, Key. Keep going. Go on, keep moving. Well done. Keep going, Key. I'm going to tread on you otherwise. And he's off over there, doing his thing. This is a sports centre, sort of sports pitches they like to play on and run around like a pair of idiots. Rags, up over. Good boy, Kira, up over. Oh, she doesn't want to go in. Kira, come on, up over. I'll go then, bye. Can't be bothered to walk round. You just walk round up the top, but I can't be bothered. Come on, Kate. And they're off. Bye. Play fighting. It's what they do best. Uh, I'll walk, they'll play fight. And the sun's now up. Frosty. Very cold, but it's a nice morning. Been out for about somewhere around an hour or so. Let's have a look. Hour and ten minutes so far. It's not bad. We'll do this and then head home. is wearing themselves out. I don't mind because I get to have my coffee in peace and quiet when we get back. Come on in.
on her way out. They're tired. Done a couple of laps. This place. I don't think we need your lights on anymore, do we? Uh, let's head on out. Come on in, big boy. Come on. We're on our way home now. That's it for today. And we're home. Big drink, big drink, yeah, let's top that up. Mind your fat head. Max, mind your head. Ah, oh, you're making a mess. And now we're back home from our early morning walk. Come on in. We have to go and let the chickens out. And have a good sniff apparently as well. It's part of his job. Oh, come on in big boy. Chickens are complaining because they want to come out. Right. And he's busy sniffing. I've got to turn the camera off because I've got to do topping up food and water for the chickens. Coffee time. It is Schmackos time. <laughs> so it's all oh, mind out cat. Um it's just gone nine o'clock, it's about ten past nine. We are on our way down to get a couple of bits for lunch. So Mr excited here gets a trip to the harbour I had to turn the radio off because I'm listening to some 90s channel and it's got Britney Spears playing and Spice Girls and all sorts of stuff yeah I had to turn it off didn't we rags because it's a bit embarrassing I don't want everyone knowing that we listen to Britney Spears and Spice Girls and all sorts of rubbish like that far now. When he gets excited he gets all licky lips as we get closer. I don't, he does. Obviously Kira is with us, she's in the back, but she's not as uh, pushy and demanding as him. He wants to be up the front, looking out the window, watching where we're going. She just lays in the back, Princess Kira. And we are now doing 20 miles an hour, because we're in North Wales, where the most speed limits are 20 miles an hour. It takes us a bit of a while, doesn't it? But it's nice and relaxing. Where are we going, Rags? Where are we going? Oh, 
Helps if I open the cart. Still very cold. I don't know what it is, it's about two or three degrees at the moment, going up to about four or five today. Ragnar's off the lead, he will go on the lead in a minute. Um, he's not as good with dogs as Kira. He's, he's all right but sometimes he doesn't play nice. He plays a little bit too hard and dogs get upset and then he gets upset and then we have arguments. So he goes on a lead and he stays away from some dogs. The ones he knows he's fine with, it's very friendly. Right, come on then, let's go. Right, so we're walking down towards the beach and this is where Mr. Ragnar develops selective hearing. When I'm calling him back because he goes too far ahead, he chooses not to listen and sometimes has to go on the lead. <clears throat> See, he's going far in front. He'll probably stop and have a wee. which will give me a chance to catch up with him. But if he gets too excited, he runs off into the distance and he can bump into a dog around the corner, makes the dog jump, growls at him, and then he thinks the dog wants a fight. So we keep him away. No dogs get excited, no dogs get scared. He doesn't think he's got to protect anyone. Kira, slow down. Kira. Slow down, good girl. Ragnar, selective hearing boy. Ragnar, good boy. Steady, steady. Ragnar, hey, Rax, Ragnar, stop. Stand still, hey, Ragnar, look. Selective hearing, stand still, wait for me. Selective hearing. People can come from the left or the right here with their dogs. Rags. Quite often see people down here. It's not usually a problem. He isn't bad. He's not a bad dog. He just, he's huge and he quite often makes dogs growl. And if the growl, a dog growls at him, he thinks they want to fight. Right, because I am the chairman of the Obvious Statement Club, I'm going to say the tide is quite clearly out, so Ragnar gets to play on the sand. He likes to charge around like an idiot on the sand. He's going to go and get Kira. And they're off again because they haven't been out at all this morning jesus go on numpties move yourselves okay just carry on eating each other oh god there's nothing on the beach and i've tripped over it how is that possible only i can trip over absolutely nothing oh Oh, there's a chilly little breeze. You bit her head too roughly. Be a little bit more gentle with the lady. Now, see, she doesn't want to play rough with you anymore. You've upset her. see that I've just checked at the moment is two degrees so it's a good temperature for these two to charge around like complete lunatics 
this all day long. Don't get bored of it. He hasn't spotted the puddle of water. When he does, he'll go and jump in it. What's he spied? What have you spied? People, people six miles away. Go on in Kiwi Woo. Catch up. So this is real harbour and it's open to dogs all year round, this bit, just this bit. <coughs> in May, over the other side there, you're not allowed to take dogs. We can now, we're okay at the moment, but <coughs> in May till September, you can't go over that side. You've got to go right up the other end of the beach. the drone out shouldn't I? I can't bring the drone out I've got the dogs I can't keep my eye on a flying object and the dogs I don't multitask I have to concentrate on flying the drone otherwise you end up with a drone that's in 26 pieces oh you gotta you gotta get a that's it get a good Row, 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 row. And she's up again. Ragnar has spotted the dog up there. <whistles> and the birds. Rag! This way. Good boy. He's actually very good. He listens. He's chasing, you wouldn't believe it, he's chasing those flying birds. I don't know if you can see the flying birds, they're way off in the distance. He thinks he can catch them. Come on you. Rags. Raggy. Come on fat boy. Are you hobbled in? Have you stood on something? I better go and check his paw. He's probably stood on a, a shell. Yeah, he stopped. <laughs> That's a good sign that he's probably stood on something. Let's go and clean his feet up and see what he's complaining about. So he's fine. I gave his feet a bit of a wipe. There's no injuries as I can see. He's probably been playing and landing on a stone funny or a shell does that every now and again he's so big and heavy when he jumps in the air and lands his feet hit the floor with some impact and if he catches a sharp shell it just gives him a little bit of an injury he's all right and madam here is just sauntering right, we better get him back where that black line is that's actually the river you can't see it on the camera, but he'll go in there and that's it. He'll be washed out to sea. Rags. Rag. This side. Good boy. Oh. Come on in. I think that's enough. I've got to get to the shops. And my hands are freezing. Rags, not that side. Raggy, leave the river alone, come on. I don't need you swimming in there. Your girlfriend. Oh, she, she's here. Look at
Back to the car, kids. So, there's a dog just there. And Ragnar's just here. He's not bothered about dogs. It's only the ones that he thinks are going to growl at him or tell him off or something. Rag, steady mate. See, he's seen it, he's not bothered. Let's get back in the car, Rags. So the cat's waiting for us when we get back. Ragnar's best mate. And then straight to the bucket. They do like a drink when they get back. Time to go in, cat. Oh, right, he's out the back window somewhere. It's just after 12. We are at a, uh, like a local pond lake thing. Uh, he's hanging out the window because he's seen all the lovely doggies that he wants to go and probably chase still so let's go and see what it's like out there sun's out still cold but the sun's out Lots of dogs here today, very busy. They must all be out celebrating Ragnar's birthday. That can be the only reason. warmed up quite nicely today. Now the sun's out. It's meant to be freezing again tonight. But while the sun's out, it's lovely. It's a lovely day. There's loads of people in here. It's about the sixth time, I think. Six. It must be sixth time I've told people that Ragnar's two today. He's being very good with everyone. Loving all the dogs, loving all the people. Enjoying the sunshine, aren't you? Ragnar and Kira just had a malt, they're just finishing it. So they get brushed regularly. Stand still a minute, Rags. Let's see. You can probably stand still. There's a big clump. Occasionally you get that happen. A clump, but most of it's all out now. It's been brushed out. It's just the odd clump. So they don't get walked a million times, a million miles a day. They just go out a few times. They have their big walk in the morning and they'll have a, a big run at night. 
and in the day they just have short little whatever's going on harbour walks or this pond sometimes to the woods depends but they're in and out all day we're always doing something but they have two big walks a day so that's the whatever it is pond lake I don't know there's lots of little fishing spots around it it's a nice little walk around not huge but they like it and there's usually lots of people here for the dogs to say hello to but I've been turning the camera off because people don't want to be filmed but Ragnar says hello to the dogs as well he stays on the lead just because of his size he's intimidating a lot of people are nervous of him just because he's huge so we keep him on the lead and we're back at the car park so here we are back at the car park oh god and i'm tripping over again Steady up, Kira. Oh. Come on in, Rags. Let's get in the car. Yeah, lots of people here. Ooh. Come on, in you get. In you get, Rags. Good boy. And you, Key. That's it. Well done. Never far away. Windows open because it's a nice day. Just lays there, happy. Go on in, mister. Time to go and get the eggs. See what our chickens have done. There's eggs, Rags. He's very good with the chickens. He doesn't chase them. He's not bothered about them. They're not really bothered about him. Hey, mate. Come on in. Let's take our chicken, eh, chickens, our eggs back up to the house. Waggy wag. Hello, waggy wag. Hello, waggy wag. Hello. <laughs> Do you want to go in the water? You want to go for a swim? Yeah, then. Come here, I'll let you off. Yeah, there's doggies down there swimming. Oh, come here. Uh, there we go. And he's off. This way, Rag! Rag, this way! Rag, this way! Oh, he's excited. It's paddle time. Rag! Ragnar! Rag! This way! Rag! 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 Rag!
rags. Do you want to go paddling? You're not the only one paddling. Look, there's another idiot paddling. Don't bring me into it. Then dud no pier. Ragnar! This way. Now, don't let the sunshine fool you. It's still bloody cold. He's very excited. When he goes swimming, he gets a bit too overexcited and he stops listening. You have to remind him that he's with you. Rag! Come on! Rag! Come on! Good boy. He's just going to stick his face in the sauce. Yeah, look. <laughs> donuts on the pier rags, birthday donuts on the pier. Yum. Rags. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. So we've had donuts on the pier. And we're going to walk up to the end of the pier. Rags. Rag, leave it alone. in the sun. Come on in. Let's go back to the car. Okay, let's put your light on. You can go. Rags. Rag. Ragnar. Rags. 
Come, let's put your light on. Let's put your light on. Come here. Stand still. Go on in. Raise a glass, you've made it another year Happy birthday, have a laugh, crack a smile, even shed a tear Because it's your birthday Pop the cork, pour the flute, make a wish And don't forget to count the candles Now we celebrate with cheer Yellow cake for another trip around the sun Because it's your birthday Coffee or tea, cream and sugar Is it time to open presents? Friends and loved ones gather near Raise your glass to another year But the sun will rise again tomorrow Raise your glass, I think we've had too much to drink Happy birthday, one day you're young And then they say you're 